The far lands in Minecraft were a famous gener terrain generation bug from the older versions of the game. Minecraft built its world using portable noise, a map function that decides how tall the terrain range should be. He responded this works perfectly because the numbers were small, but the early version of the Minecraft used 32-bit integers to store the noise data, and those can only handle values up to 2,147,488,647. Once you walk over 12,550,824 blocks away from the center of the world, the numbers using the noise calculations become too large and overflow. The, na the game starts producing corrupt values, sometimes even that, which literally means not a number. When that happens, the the terrain generator can't build any smooth land anymore. It breaks into massive stretch laws and blocks and bungee walls in order to the farlands. A lot of people confuse the farlands with other glitches, but they are not the same. Floating point jitter, stripe lands of bedrock, and fake trunks near 32 million blocks all happen for different reasons. They just uh, they appear far away from spawn, just like the farlands do. There are actually different types of farlands based on the direction of the map fails. The edge farlands, the corner farlands, and the rare vertex farlands. There's even something called the farlands over a billion blocks away where different noise map breaks. Mojang removed the farlands in beta 1.8 when they rewrote the world generation using 64 pin numbers, which fixed the overflow. But even today, the farlands are remembered as Minecraft's most iconic glitches, a place where the world couldn't didn't end because it was too large. It could map couldn't keep up.